Now that we have a template created, uh, let's go ahead and use it. We want to apply our template to uh, all of our blank pages that we created uh, in our root folder over there. So you can see I've got the template open here and I've added a couple of editable regions. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close the template and then open up my blank pages. So I'm going to get the index open just by double clicking on it. Uh, I'm going to get them all open. So I just go through and double click on each one of these. And you can see they kind of tab up across the top. So you can see I now have um, all six of my pages opened up and they've sort of stacked up with the documents.html1 being on top. It doesn't matter which one's on top. Uh, so now I can apply uh, my new template to these pages in a, in a few ways. Um, the way I like to do it is I'm going to switch now. Let me just close all these folders up. I'm going to switch from this Files tab to the Assets tab. And then on the Assets tab, you can see uh, I can look at different kinds of assets that I have within this site using this uh, uh, little menu bar of icons down the left side. So if you just hover your mouse over the top of one of them, it'll tell you what that icon is. So this is the Templates icon. When I click on that one, um, I can see that I have one template available, and there's the name of it, and I can see a little preview of it. And if I want to apply this new template I just created to my documents.html page, I can just go up to the preview window, click and drag that preview out, and drop it on the page. Um, so now a couple things to note. Uh, you can see I'm still on the documents.html page. There's a little asterisk next to it up there. Uh, it just means I've made a change. It hasn't been saved. Let me save that quick. Um, and then uh, with the template now applied here, you can see I can click inside these editable regions uh, and and uh, go ahead and start putting in content. I'll just, for now, I'll just put this as my document page. Just put a little title on there. Um, over here in my sidebar, my left column, a region there, I can edit that as well. But uh, if I try to change anything else, you can see across the top here when I put my cursor up on the banner, I just get this little circle with a line through it. it. means I can't do it. So I cannot edit anything else except the stuff or except the regions that I've marked as editable. Uh, if I do want to change any of this, these other things like my banner, my links, or my footer, or my background colors, um, I can go to the template and do that and then the template will update all my pages because I've designated those things as things I wanted to be the same across my site. Um, right, so there's my documents page is done. I'm going to save that and close it. Uh, and the keyboard shortcut that uh, keyboard shortcut for that on the Mac, it's um, Apple S for save and Apple W to close. On the PC, it's Control S to save and Control W to close that open document. All right, so now I'm on my contact.html page. I'm going to drag and drop there and just quickly put. Um, oh, not contact contact page put a little title on. Of course, uh, at a later time, I'll come back and actually put the content in here that's going to populate this page. Save that, close it, get my calendar one on. And then I got uh, uh, Apple S, Apple W, save and close. Now I'm on my assignment page. Okay. Save that, close it, and now the About Me page. Okay, save and close that. And the last one is my index page. If you remember, that's the page that's going to be the first page that our visitor sees. So it's my index page. Um, I might also say, just so I remember, that's going to be my home page. Okay, so now I'm going to save that. I have all uh, I have my template applied to all of my blank pages, which is at this time right now it's just six, so just a nice small little website. Uh, now I can actually do a test to see if my menu, my main menu, works. So I'm going to come up here and go to Preview in Firefox, and I'll bring that over so we can see. Okay, so there's my index page in the browser, and now I should be able to click on my little navigation bar across the top here to go between pages. So calendar. And you can see there's the little title I put on each page. They're all going to look exactly the same, except f for the, the content that I put in assignments, 
documents, contact me, about me, and home. Okay, good. So um, my navigation works. I got my uh, template applied to all of my pages. Uh, now, if you go and do a little test like that, a little preview in the browser, um, a couple of things might happen. So first, um, all the links might work. Everything looks good. The second thing that might happen is when you click on one of the links, you might see a blank white page. What that means is that uh, the link worked, but you haven't applied the template to that blank page yet or to that HTML document again. So you might just come back here to Dreamweaver, open up that file again, and apply the page. Um, to it. The other thing, you, you might have applied the template to it, but it hasn't been saved yet. So check across the top up here um, if you have them still tabbed up uh, to see if any of them have asterisks on them. And if they do, you can go to File Save here, or you can see there's a Save All. So if you had done a bunch and hadn't saved, if you saw, if you saw lots of asterisks, you do saw a Save All and save them all at once. <clears throat> The other thing you might see is uh, a page not found when you click on one of those links. If that's the case, then um, your link isn't linked correctly. And to fix that, you'd have to go back to your template, because the template now is the place that controls that navigation. And I'd recommend just opening up the template, highlighting the link, and just remaking the link to that specific page. And um, in the next tutorial, we will uh, now that we have our system created, we'll go through the process of actually taking what we've created and getting it online, making it public. Although it's not really quite ready to be public yet, we want to start practicing that process um, and then we'll start adding content in.